Thank you. Don't throw your underwear, man. Last time I got some, they had nicotine stains on them. I said, damn, bro, second half smoke kills, huh? Yeah. It's hard being Mexican. You ever notice that? Because, like, when it gets hot, we get dark. Like, Vladimir Guerrero dark. We get dark. You ever notice that? For reals. I got so dark, I called this black guy midnight. That fool called me 11.38. I got busted on a scooter for tinted windows. I got busted for curfew in the daytime. I was like, what? And then Mexicans were born with extra eyebrows. You ever notice that? Look at this <laughs> It looks like I got two Samoan caterpillars on my face. Everybody calls me Sesame Street Cholo. I go to Supercuts, I gotta pay full price. I ain't got no hair. Oh, the shampoo, the shampoo. Everybody calls me Frida. I was playing football with my friend Felipe. He's like, hey, fool, you're supposed to put the pin right here, not right here, dog. <laughs> Speaking of facial hair, though, you ever notice that when a cholo mad dogs you, he always rubs his mustache? And cholos, they turn into models. They strike poses and shit. They be like, hold on, dog, hold on. Nah, dog, this fool's tripping. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's something about that facial hair. When they do it to me, I just go like this. <laughs> it's hair, you know what I mean? Hair. Could you imagine if I was a European cholo? How would I mad dog hunt? Be like, bloody damn it. What about an Armenian house? What is the problem, my friend? <laughs> this is Glendale, bitch, Glendale. <laughs> Just got out of jail again. Yeah, man, when you get out of jail, you come home with prison habits. Not the ones like American me, you know, don't look at me, puppet, don't look at me. <laughs> Like prison habits, like people would knock on my door. I give my mirror, who is it? <laughs> who, UPS? Hey fool, do we get along with UPS? <laughs> my kids get good grades, I give them soap and cigarettes. Good job, mijo. <laughs> Xbox, top ramen, top ramen, top ramen. <laughs> First thing I did when I got out of jail, I got a job, man. I'm a DJ at a strip club. Yeah, you say that, man, but strippers are crazy. They drive you wild. Strippers always want to be called something they're not. You ever notice that shit? This one girl was like, bring me up as Escalade. Escalade, baby, you look like an escort. Three rims, one hubcap, your blinker don't work either, look up. You know what I notice about strippers too is the way they pick up money. You ever notice that? They pick up money like a reindeer trying to cross the woods at night. They're all smooth. Strippers don't want to be seen. <laughs> pick the money up! And then guys, they tip crazy too, especially Mexicans, huh? White guys, here you go, baby. Good job, Escalade. <laughs> Your blinker's out, but good job. <laughs> Mexicans, what do we do? We roll the dollars up. Watch me hit this cover on your right hand down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for the chichis, cover on, hey! <laughs> and then names stayed in my head, names, man. Strippers got crazy names, but who else has crazy names? Black people got crazy names. For reals, black people will always name their kids something they wish they had. 
like Alize, <laughs> Portia, Credit. Mercedes, Lexus, Justice, Freedom. <laughs> but you know what I noticed, Mexicans, that uh, we don't have, besides a dad, is casinos. You ever notice that? White people got Vegas, Asians got Hawaiian Gardens, Comrades. The Indians got Sam Manuel. Black people that play craps on the corners and shit. Us, we just play Lotaria and shit. Not even real chips, beans. I thought about it though. If Mexicans had a casino, it'd be ghetto, dude. It'd be different from everybody. Like when you walk into Vegas, they got buffets everywhere, right? Not the Mexican casino, it just have lunch trucks. <laughs> and then you would walk in and all the slot machines would be broken. <laughs> You'd have to pull the lever down, con pinzas. Like, Give me a peso, bro. Give me a peso. <laughs> and when you win in Vegas on the slot machines, it's Bar, bar, bar. No, not the ones in the Mexican casino. It'll be like that sign on the five freeway right before you hit TJ with the mom, the dad, and the son and <laughs> Could you imagine that game? You put your best one, hell yeah. Mom, dad, come on, son, come on, son. Border Patrol, f But I like casinos, they're cool. Casinos got hookers. I'm curious, you know, my name's George, I'm curious, you know? So one time I seen this hooker, I was like, hey, how much? She was like, what's up with those eyebrows? I'm like, calm down, calm down. She was like $150 for anything. I was like, anything? Cool. So I took her to my house and I made her pull the transmission out of my car. <laughs> I made her watch my kids as at the club. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you know what? Anybody here have plastic surgery? Give it up for the girls with the real chichis. Give it up right now, for real. <laughs> Those are original you know what I mean? They're throwbacks. For reals, when they get old. Now, because fake chichis are like two cholos. All they do is mad dog you all day. Hey, my name is George Perez, man. Thank you, guys. It's hard being Mexican. You ever notice that? It is. It's hard. Because, like, when it gets hot, we get dark. <laughs> like, Vladimir Guerrero dark. We get real dark. Like, I got so dark one time, I called this black guy midnight. That dude called me 1138. <laughs> and then Mexicans were born with these eyebrows. Look at these eyebrows I got right here. This ain't plastic surgery. Look at this stuff, man. Everybody calls me Sesame Street Cholo. <laughs> I go to Supercuts, I gotta pay full price, I ain't got no hair. Oh, the shampoo, the shampoo. <laughs> Everybody calls me Frida. <laughs> I was playing football with my friends at that Thanksgiving Turkey Bowl game. My friend Felipe was like, hey, fool, you're supposed to put the pain right here, not right here. <laughs> You know what though, speaking of facial hair, you know what I notice about gangsters? Is that when a gangster mad dogs you, especially cholos,
They always rub their mustache. You ever notice that? <laughs> but they turn into like models. They strike poses and shit. They be walking. <laughs> hold on, dog. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, dog. This book is tripping. <laughs> it's something about that facial hair. When they do it to me, I just go like this. <laughs> Could you imagine if I was like a European gangster? How would I mad dog huh? Like bloody damn it. <laughs> or what about an Armenian huh? What is the problem, my friend? <laughs> this is Glendale, bitch, Glendale. Just got out of jail again. Yeah, man, when you get out of jail, you come home with like prison habits. Not the ones like American me, like, don't look at me, puppy, don't look at me. <laughs> but prison habits, like people would knock on my door, I get my mirror, who is it? <laughs> who? UPS? Hey fool, did we get along with UPS? And then my kids get good grades, I give them soap and cigarettes. Good job, me home. What <laughs> you mean, Xbox? Top ramen, top ramen, top ramen. <laughs> First thing I did, though, when I got out of jail, man, is um, I got a job. I'm a DJ at a strip club. Yeah. It's wild, though, because, like, when you work in there, you know the strippers are crazy. They always want to be called something they're not. This one girl was like, bring me up as Escalade. <laughs> Escalade, baby, you look like an escort. <laughs> Three rims, one hubcap, your blinkers out. <laughs> and then when I was working there, I noticed that guys, we tip different. Back in the days, I remember we'd walk up to the table, hey, good job, Escalade, hey, your blinkers out, good job. <laughs> How do we tip now how we roll the dollar? But watch me hit this girl in the titties right now, dude. <laughs> and then strippers, they're all sexy on the pool during the song. And once the song's over, they turn into like deer. Have you seen them collect their tips? They don't want to be seen. They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> And then names. Damn, strippers at the club, come down. Come down, Escalade. <laughs> Escalade's a crazy name, man. I always trip out on names. Strippers have crazy names. You know who else has crazy names? It's black people got crazy names. For real. Black people always name their kids something they wish they had. <laughs> Like Alizé, <laughs> Portia, Credit, Mercedes, Lexus, Justice. <laughs> I want to talk to the women right now. Can I talk to you guys? Why, when you guys masturbate, you guys turn into DJs? <laughs> Have you seen a girl masturbate? She goes, I was getting some, I was getting some, and then all of a sudden they come back down and come right back up. Are you looking for a song down there? What's going on? Ow, sorry, I didn't like that one either. <laughs> one thing I noticed about Mexicans that we don't have besides the dad. <laughs> it's casinos. You ever notice that Mexicans don't have casinos? White people got Vegas. Asians got Hawaiian Gardens. Commons. Us, we have the Loteria. We don't even get chips. We got to put beans right there. We got beans right there in the corner. And then I thought about it. If Mexicans had a casino, it'd be ghetto. Like in Vegas, when you walk in their casinos, they got buffets everywhere, right? Not the Mexican casino, you'd walk in, there'd just be lunch trucks and stuff. 
All the slot machines would be broken. You have to pull the lever down for pinzas. <laughs> and when you win in Vegas on the slot machines, they read bar, bar, bar. Nah, not the Mexican casino. That slot machine be different. It'll be like that sign on the five freeway right before you hit TJ from San Diego with the mom, the dad, and the son. <laughs> Could you imagine that you put your best away and you pull the pizzas down? Mom, Dad, come on, son, come on, son. Border Patrol, damn! Yeah, man, I got three kids from four women. And Mori Povich is my Nino. It's wild, though, man, because like one of my baby's moms is a hood rat, dude. You know what a hood rat is, dog? It's not like a big possum that walks down the neighborhood. <laughs> she's a hood rat, dude. Like, she's sponsored by Planned Parenthood. <laughs> they got her picture on the wig staff holding milk. Her pussy has more friends than Tom on MySpace. Wow, she got plastic surgery done, man. I don't like that. Clap if you believe in real chichis. Give it up for the girls with the real chichis, dog. For real, give it up. Give it up. Those are original titties. They're throwback titties. Originals. When she gets old, Because fake breasts, they're like two cholos. All they do is mad doggy all day. <laughs> Those breasts have no emotion. They don't know her, they just met her. The girls with the real breasts are at the club having a good time, so is her breasts. What's up, just chilling? <laughs> what are those other breasts doing? Whoa, bitch, whoa, bitch, whoa, bitch, whoa, bitch. I'm George Perez. Peace out, everybody. Damn, everyone's all happy. Everybody happy? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> now, I've been having a bad day, man. Bad day. I just found out my best friend's gay. <laughs> See, you're laughing. That's He's been my best friend for 20 years and he's gay. He's like, are you mad at me? I said, I'm not mad at you, dog. I'm just mad because you used to spend the night alone. <laughs> I'm mad because he used to always roll the blunts all funny. He'd be like. <laughs> you want to light it? <laughs> It's a trip, he's my best friend and he's gay. So I'm like, my name's George, I'm curious, you know? I'm gonna ask him, how does that feel? Hey dog, how does that feel? He's like, oh, it feels like a toothache. I was like, toothache? I'm well not covered on a toothache? He goes, yeah, it hurts real bad, but you don't want them to pull it out. It's a trip, he's gay and he's a boxer. His nickname is Fruit Punch. <laughs> you guys are laughing at the <laughs> Been having a day, dude. I went to the Swami today and got ripped off. You ever go to the Swami thinking, I'm gonna come up. You come home all pissed off. Who taught that China Spanish thing? <laughs> I went to the Swami and I bought Jordans for 30 bucks. I was like, hell yeah, I came up, Jordans. I came home, I compared them to my other Jordans. I was like, these ain't Jordans. On oh, my old Jordans, he's doing a slam dunk. On the ones I got from the Swami, he was doing a layup.
I got a Raiders jersey that had both eyes on it. I got a portrait of Jesus that had a Raiders beanie like this. Save me, save me. Now it's a trip, because when you're Mexican and you go to the swamp meet, we get dark. Dude, I got so dark, I called this black guy midnight. He called me 11.38. And then Mexicans were born like extra eyebrow hair. You, know, you ever notice that in me, dog? I look like a Sesame Street cholo. I go to Supercuts, I gotta pay full price, I ain't got no hair. Oh, the shampoo, the shampoo. It's messed up, girls call me Frida. I was playing football, my friend Felipe, he was like, hey fool, you're supposed to put that pair right here, not right here. Bro. Speaking of facial hair though, you ever notice that when a cholo mad dogs you, he always rubs his mustache? And a cholo, he'll turn into a model, huh? He'll do a pose on you, be walking. Hey, hold on, Shanker, hold on, hold on. Man. Hold on, dog, these fools are tripping here, hold on. Man. like this. It's the hair. Could you imagine a European cholo? How would he mad dog hunt? Like blood teeth, damn it. Or what about an Armenian hunt? What is the problem with it? This is Glendale. Just got out of jail again. <laughs> yeah, man, like when you get out of jail, you come home with prison habits. Not the ones like American me, like, don't look at me, puppy, don't look at me. <laughs> prison habits. People would knock on my door. I get my mirror out, who is it? <laughs> who, UPS? <laughs> hey, fool, do we get along with UPS? <laughs> And then my kids get good grades, I give them soap and cigarettes. Good job, me home. <laughs> you know one thing I noticed that Mexicans don't have besides a dad? <laughs> is we don't have casinos, you notice that? Yeah. White people got Vegas, Asians got Hawaiian Gardens, comrades. <laughs> Mexicans, what do we have? The Loteria. <laughs> They don't even give you real chips, how you gonna pay with beans? What's up, dude? <laughs> hey, Mundo's coming up next, everyone. I thought about it, though. Mexicans had a casino, it'd be ghetto, because we're ghetto people. You walk into a Vegas casino, what do they have everywhere? Buffets. You walk into a Mexican casino, it'll just be lunch trucks. All the slot machines will be broken. You have to pull the lever down with pliers. <laughs> and in Vegas, when you went on the slot machines, what does it read? Bar, bar, bar. <laughs> the Mexican casino. Our slot machines be a little different. It'd be like that sign on the 5 freeway right before you at TJ from San Diego with the mom, the dad, and the son. <laughs> Could you imagine that? You put your fence away and you pull the pliers down. Mom! Dad! <laughs> Come on, son, come on, son, Border Patrol! Yeah.